thousand years. And a thousand years is like one day. And this is especially evident when we celebrate the divine energy and the serving the divine energy. We always remember the saints of the day. And the saints of the day for us are alive. They are our intercessors, intercessors before God. And the one that is important to celebrate with this past Friday was St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker. And how many of us understand his life, have read his life, and understand the struggles that he did throughout his life. And how he for us is a great saint because he today is the same as he was over 60 centuries ago when he lived. And studying the lives of the saints. For example, we take the life of St. John Chrysostomus, who wrote the Divine Liturgy that we celebrate on every Sunday, except during Great Lent, but we celebrate the Liturgy of St. Basil the Great. And St. John Chrysostomus said that he gets his inspiration, his enlightenment, his strength, and his direction from the Holy Apostle Paul. They say that St. John was so enamored with the with Holy Apostle Paul that he emulated it in his life. And that once in his, his, his cell keeper looked through the keyhole while St. John was writing his wondrous works, those fantastic works that he wrote on, on theology, that he saw St. Paul talking into his ear and explaining to him the Gospels and the writings of the Apostles and the end of his life. And so it's important because we as people have our weaknesses and we have our strengths. We like to surround ourselves with people that we like, people that bring enlightenment to our, our, to our souls and to our lives. And these are what the saints are. It's our extended family. And how important it is for every Orthodox person to re re relate to the saints and have a favorite saint or a favorite group of saints. And then once you learn that, that these saints are like your family, then it grows. The love grows in your heart the love grows in your life because you have more to give, because you have been given more. You have been enriched by the lives of the saints. When we are baptized in Orthodox faith, we have two securities that are given unto us and to our souls. We are given a guardian angel and we are given a patron saint because we carry the names of saints. And the saint is our patron saint. He looks after us or she looks after us. It's somebody that we can turn to, somebody that we can relate to. But yet I ask you, who of us knows the life of the saint and the name that they carry? Who of us has studied in depth that life, the struggles and the miracles that that saint has wrought and has done for us? Who of us in everyday life turns to our saint throughout the day and says, protect me, guide me, help me, show me the way? Especially today when we have the internet. Especially today when we have all sorts of easy ways for this kind of information and knowledge. How easy we can look up all sorts of different saints on the internet today. And yet, ask yourself, how much time do we spend on the internet doing frivolous things and not doing serious things? And doing nothing for the salvation of our soul. And yet, as they say today, it's just a click away. It's just a click away to understand and to read the life of a saint. Look up the life of the, of the saint's name that you carry. And look it up in detail. And learn it. And understand the details of the saint's life. Then you'll understand that this is a protector of your life, along with your guardian angel. Look up the life of Saint Nicholas, the wonder worker. Well, it's over 1,600 years ago, and yet he's like alive today because in the church, there are no dead. God is not the God of the lift of the dead, but of the living. The holy three hierarchs, St. John Chrysostom, who I mentioned, who wrote the divine liturgy along with St. Basil of the Great and St. Gregory the Theologian. The life of St. John Damascus, who was celebrated on Wednesday along with Great Martyr Barbara, or of Saba, the enlightened one, who was celebrated on Thursday. These great saints in the Orthodox Church, especially in these three days, are called three-day saint at the celebration of St. Barbara, St. John, St. Saba, and then St. Nicholas, which is already four. But it is us to us to understand these things that it's important for our family to grow, <coughs> our spiritual family. We know what strength the family gives to us, when we have loved ones around us. And these are people that love us because we're Christian, because we try to 
troubles and we try to emulate them in our lives, and yet if we don't know their life, how we can how can we follow them? How can we emulate them? So look up the life of your saint, of the one of the need that, is, that, 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 that you carry. Be thankful for God for all the blessings. Pray to your guardian angel. Pray to your patron saint. Pray to the saints of the church. And be thankful to God that we have such an abundance of faith, such a beautiful, glorious, and fulfillment in spiritual life and being in the Orthodox Church.